Hey guys and welcome! A question that I get very often is how do I bond with my snake? Now that's a very very tricky question to answer because I think it depends on what you associate with the word bonding. If you think that you are able to bond with your snake the same way that you may bond with for example a dog, meaning that it's coming when you're calling, it's it's gonna sit when you ask it to and it's gonna cuddle out to you because you enjoy it, then I'm afraid that you might get a bit disappointed with your snake. If you think about bonding with your snake as being able to handle it and it being relaxed around you, then I can definitely say yes to that part. Personally, I don't think that you are able to bond with your snake, but I do think that you are able to teach it not to be scared of humans. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about today, because I'm gonna give you a few tips and tricks on how to get your snake used to being handled by you. Let's put up a scenario. Let's say that you just bought home your first snake. It's a gorgeous little ball python, absolutely in love with it, and you just wanna handle it all the time. First thing that you're gonna do is to not handle it at all. And I know how difficult that is, but when I get a snake home, I can barely keep my hands off it. I want to handle it all the time. I want to take pictures of it. And I really just want to interact with it. But if you want your snake to be comfortable around you, the first thing you're gonna do is to leave it completely alone. When you move a snake from one home to another, it needs to de-stress and it needs to get used to its new surroundings. And it does that best by just being left completely alone. Often when you put your snake in your terrarium, you will see it immediately going into one hide and just stay there for a couple of days. You may also get a snake who is very curious and does not hide away but simply is searching around the entire terrarium to have a look at where it is now. Either way it is best to leave the snake alone for at least a couple of days. What you can do in those couple of days is to stay by the side of the terrarium. Not necessarily sit right next to it and just stare into the terrarium but being in the same room and stuff like that that gives the snake opportunity to watch you and to get used to your presence. If you're buying a snake that's already used to being handled, it might not be necessary for you to do these two first steps. But I always recommend that you leave your snake alone when you get it home. And of course, it's always a good idea to observe your snake getting used to its behavior because then you will also know when something is wrong. The third thing I recommend that you do is that you establish a good feeding habit, which means that the snake is eating without any trouble. Depending on what species of snake and on the individual snake, of course, that time may vary of how long it's going to take to establish this feeding habit. For example, if you buy an adult corn snake, you most likely will have no trouble at all establishing the feeding habit, which means that when you feed the snake, it will eat almost right away. But if you are buying a bull python that might be stressed from the journey or from the previous home, that might take a few more weeks, if not months, to establish that feeding habit. Once your snake is eating well and it's pooping and it's shedding like a champion, then you can move on and start to handle your snake. If it is your first snake, I can totally understand if you're being a bit careful and a bit nervous about handling. If you are, I've made a video on how to handle your snake and you can watch it right up here, of course, and I've linked to it down in the description of the video as well. When you're going to handle your snake, I think it's very important to be very quick and very gentle and very effective when you're doing it. Some people, they recommend that you put your hand in the terrarium and you start to stroke the snake. I cannot recommend that at all. You should not do that. That might cause even more stress to the snake than it will help. As you can see with Ariel here, when I'm stroking her she's kind of pushing me away with her body she's telling me not to touch her and she's also telling me that her stress level is rising when you're touching a snake like this inside its home you are actively rising its stress level because you're intruding on the home and the snake might think of you as something scary and something that will harm you and that can also essentially lead to a bite what you should do is that you should very quick very gentle just grab the snake and pull it out some snakes are easier than others to take out of the terrarium like with for example Queenie she can be a bit of a trouble to uh, get my hands to. Sometimes she will uh, shy away and she will try to get away from me. What you have to do here is be even quicker and still very gentle but even quicker. Do not chase the snake around the terrarium. Go in very fast, grab it and pull it out. It might be terrifying guys, I know it can be, but trust me it's the best way for you to get your snake out of the terrarium. If you hesitate and if you are like touching it not really knowing what to do, then the snake will see you as a threat and it will not be a pleasant experience for either of you. Once you have your snake out and you're ready to handle it, just stay very, very calm with your hands and give the snake lots of support. If you have a ball python like Ariel, for example, she might be a bit shy and she might be curled up, not moving at all. Just give her some time and she will slowly, very slowly start to flick her tongue and start to look around. That's a very, very good sign. A snake that's moving around slowly, flickering its tongue, that's a curious snake and that's very, very good. That's really what we want when we're handling a snake. If you have a snake like Queenie here, for example, who is a bit more uh, energetic if you can say it like that or 
If a snake is very, very stressed, it will also move very fastly, it will try to get away from you. You still have to remain as calm as you possibly can and just give the snake support, support, support. Until the snake calms down and trust me, eventually it most likely will. Just calm down and spend a few moments, maybe only two to three moments until the snake has calmed down, maybe 10 minutes. Just keep on going until it's calmed down. Once the snake is calm, you can sit with it for however long you feel like. Of course, you have to make sure that the snake is not getting too cold or if it's getting stressed again. Once you're done, just put your snake gently into the terrarium again. If you do this a couple of times every week, of course still making sure that the snake is eating as it should be, then in no time you will have a snake that's not scared of you. Of course you always have to remember that the snake does not benefit of you holding or handling it. It's only for your own satisfaction and your own amusement. So you really have to ask yourself when you're getting a snake, do I want the snake just to be able to handle it all the time or do I want the snake because it's an amazing creature and and I really do enjoy watching it. Of course, I'm not saying that you can never ever handle your snake. Of course you can. I do handle my snakes from time to time, but in no way near do I handle them every day. It's most likely once a week. And with some of the snakes, it's even just once a month. Snakes are reptile and you need to remember that they react on pure instinct. I have also seen people take out the snake, not only to handle, but to just have the snake chill with them. For example, chill with them in bed or when they're by the computer. And guys, feel free to do whatever you feel like doing with your snake. But guys, use your common sense. So all in all, yes, it is possible to teach your snake not to be scared of you and not to be scared of humans in general. It takes work, it takes dedication and sometimes it takes a lot of time. But it is possible. But do remember that essentially every snake is different and some might take longer and some might take shorter time to get used to it. You might also be lucky to just get a snake that is used to being handled. Alright guys, that's all for today. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions, just post them right down in the comments section. Of course, I am totally interested in hearing what you guys do to bond with your snake. Let me know right down in the comment section. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like. It really does help me out a lot. And if you enjoyed the video, just press that subscribe button for more. Thank you guys for now and bye bye!